Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use the golden ratio. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, the golden ratio is a design tool. It got the following characteristic. It is a concept known as the golden number in art, design and nature. The golden number appears in the proportion that builds sculptures, objects, parts of our body. It is the numbers that express the relationship between the numbers itself and in the sequence of Fibonacci. We are talking about the number 1.618034. It is the mathematical basis on which is built the golden spiral, which we can visualize related to the proportion of the golden ratio. The golden ratio can be used in design and any kind of visual resources, logo, infographic, flyers, uh, photographs, and basically anything. It's also complementary to the design thinking methodology and any other kind of visual aid to design. So when we talk about the golden ratio, it's very important that we understand the structure of the spiral. The spiral is the main component to develop and work with this. So we start with the square that is exactly the same in height and long. Then we divide the square in half and then we make a um, transversal line between the center and the right corner of the square. Then we use three quarters to make the proportion of the another part. Uh, then we finalize and make this rectangular form and then with this proportion we start developing the spiral. As you can see in the screen, uh, each part is half of the other part. This part is half of this part, this part is half of this and then and then and then until in going to the minimum expression. Then we make the prolongation and we got the whole spiral. Something that is very important is that this spiral is found in nature. Actually, the men didn't create it. We noticed, especially Leonardo da Vinci, that was one of the persons that most used it in, in their life. And it's very interesting because it will allow you to see things with this proportion, like our ears, plants, and animals. One of the most interesting things about this spiral is that you can use it to create different kinds of layout. It means this is not static. You can combine it and you can use it in different ways to make a prolongation of the development. So that is something that is very, very important with the modules. I'm going to show you an example of how can golden ratio can be use in create a logo. So the most important part here is that in this section we analyze and see the proportion that you are going to see. So this circle in the screen is one of these. So, so you can multiply it. Then we are going to use this one and this one is bigger. Um, of course you have to make a lot of different sketches before you get really good with this because it will take a lot of visual culture. Here you can see how can the golden ratio make the proportion. We many times only see the final art, but the final art, it has been a process of a lot of sketches, a lot of tryouts, and uh, you can see it. So, Basically, we only see this final art, but the process to create the um, sketching and all the proportion is very difficult. So uh, actually, this um, logo is very minimalistic and created. You can see, oh, it's very easy, but actually it's not. It got a lot of work and it has to make many uh, sketching to find the correct proportion and development. As a conclusion, we can say that the golden ratio allows you to change and adapt to any type of figure and visual need. The idea is to build from the most basic part to the most complex. When designing and creating is not done intuitively. That, that is something very important because many 
times designers make their creation just intuitive. And one of the things is that the layouts, golden ratio and guidelines of design basically what tell you is that nothing is intuitive, everything has to have a proportion, everything has to have a layout and a structure so you can always see the structure in the development. So that is something that is very very important. This tool it will help you to construct many different components so that is something that is very very important as well. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish and every Thursday we have a new video in English. Um, also, our Udemy courses are already available. In the description of this video you can find the link. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.